How's this music for chill vibes, eh? I don't know if I'm excited by the chillness or if I'm worried it's going to knock me out. Hello, viewer. Looks like we only have one viewer so far. And his name shall be Billy. How you doing, Billy? So chill. So chill. Grab some water. Hydration. It's important. So, I have a, uh, a very busy weekend um, coming up. Uh, hello, Quiet Siren uh, Cassidy. How you doing? Also, by the way, I don't know that you're with us right now, but thank you for the follow, uh, Catastrophe Art. I think that's from uh, from the, the stream that we raided on Tuesday. But anyway, I have a, I have a very busy weekend um, coming up. Uh, I'm going to the Kelowna Fan Expo. It's going to be a lot of driving and some very long days. Um, and so I wanted to do something reasonably simple. I didn't want to not do the stream, but I want to be able to crash reasonably early and maybe even have a bit of time to just veg a little bit before I do that tonight. Um, and I had a note. I had a pose that I had grabbed and saved and had a note that was like, could be a good pose for like a, a cowgirl kind of character. No notes on what that character should look like. So I'm going to use that pose and I'm using the idea of a, uh, of a Western, Western uh, bandit. Um, but uh, I'm going to make up the outfit more or less as I go along. I got a bit of reference along the side. I have a, an idea for a pet actually as well. So I'm going to start drawing. And uh, we'll see what we end up with. And uh, what are we all up to as we watch tonight? Hello, Mark. Oh, walking home, walking home. Yeah, I think you had a class starting not that long after I was leaving today, I think. Uh, you had yeah, the, the, the 112s, right? So that's who I had for storyboarding. Dishes, that sounds fun. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping the head. I'm going to cock the neck a little bit more, though. I heard you guys were going to be up on the roof. How'd that go? Ah, okay. I'm assuming, Mark, that means we're going to lose you for a bit. out a bit more. I don't know why I specifically thought cowgirl when I saw this 
It's like someone clearly at the. It's like a. It's a girl clearly at the gym. And just this pretty solid hero pose. For some reason, I must have had an idea at the time for a cowgirl like Western character or whatever. So then I was like, oh, and that would be the perfect pose. But I didn't. I only made notes a part of it. Uh, okay, um, Cassidy, talk to you soon. too far out. Hips should be a bit more profile based on my reference. That's better. Oh yeah. Oh and it was wrong as a hands too. I see what you did there. It's in Kelowna. So what it's going to be is, or how my weekend is going to go, is tomorrow, first thing, I'm jumping in the car and driving all the way to Kelowna, which is going to be a four to five hour drive. And then um, I'm at the show from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. tomorrow night. And then on Saturday, I'm there from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then on Sunday, I'm there from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then I pack up my stuff, hop in the car, and drive back home. So it's going to be a very long weekend. Hopefully fun. It's, it's basically like a fan expo kind of deal, but uh, in Kelowna. So... I'm assuming it's not going to be as big, but at the same time, like it doesn't have like huge celebrity guests lined up or anything, or at least not that I've noticed. But um, uh, uh, like because it's it's kind of peak tourism season in Kelowna, so there might be a decent number of people there. But I'll have a table selling comics and prints and stuff. And then the weekend after or the weekend after that, I can't remember, I'm actually going to be at Annie Revo for one day because I, I won a table space, but only for one day. Uh, well, I will be, <laughs> uh, but not for much longer at that point. They also said on the Sunday that if you pack up early, you'll you'll never be allowed back. They actually said that. Okay, I think I got my pose here. And I'm going to be staying at a hostel with uh, eight, seven strangers. I've been saying eight, but I keep forgetting I'm one of the eight. So seven strangers at this hostel. Actually, I said we have our pose, and we almost do, but I haven't drawn the arms yet. 
You know why I think this pose made me think... Okay, I do, I do think I had a design idea in mind that I never wrote down. For specifically a... Uh, Cowgirl. I don't know if cowgirl is even a, the right term anymore. <laughs> but, um, so I think I had an idea, but I think the reason this pose made me think of it is because the way her arms are kind of out to the side, but like it kind of made sense for like a gunslinger. In fact, I'm going to, this is reasonably close to the, uh, the photo, what I just did here, but I'm going to pop them out a little bit farther. So I don't know what to expect from my overall weekend because I'm at the hostel and I've never done this particular show, but I think the event is probably going to be reasonably similar to Fan Expo, which I've now done a couple times. But Annie Revo is the part that, like, I have heard that that thing is nuts. And I don't know, and like, I don't really have much in the way of anime stuff. So I don't know. <laughs> but I've been told that um, my stuff might do well in an anime crowd, especially combat fairies, so... Now I have my pose. The hardest part of any Western themed drawing is always the frickin' hat. So let's try to get that out of the way. So I actually have an idea for a comic that I don't think I I don't know that it's going to be top of the priority list when I'm finished combat fairies probably not cuz I'm going to do something else first but possible project for after combat fairies and I have a, I haven't sat down and really done a drawing of the main character yet this will not be that character I do have some ideas in mind for that character and um this is not it. But, because it's Western, maybe some of this stuff will end up turning into early concept art. I actually have an idea for a little pet I'm going to give this character. And that might be something that I decide to actually give to our, our lead in that, uh, in that other comic, if and when it sees the light of day. No. It will be something very different from Combat Fairies. See, the big round wide brimmed hat is easier to draw, but the curved one is so much more satisfying. It can really be a pain sometimes. Okay, 
for the moment I think I have it, but I might decide this looks like shit in five minutes, we'll see. Well, you're on the train, Mark, that's not surprising, if you can even hear what I just said there. obstruct her eyes a fair bit or to us we'll assume that she herself can see really clearly but it'll add to the air of mystery to us Digging it so far. So what I'm thinking is, I've got her wearing, so I kind of wanted to give her the uh, the poncho like uh, Clint has in Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, but I did that with those skeleton guys a while back, so instead, I'm going to give her, she's going to be wearing a vest, but I'm going to give her the... Uh, like I said, I grabbed a lot of reference material, and I kind of had a bit of an idea before I started on this. So you know that like, really classic long red underwear you see in like old western movies? She's going to be wearing that with other accessories on top of it. Which I thought would maybe be kind of a funny... Combination. Make her kind of badass. Too. And we'll get rid of the big gloves. They're all bunched up and stuff. And. Journey 
gun holster. So I feel like Western isn't the most popular genre anymore, right? But anytime, like the most appropriate music I've ever gotten on the stream is to anything I've done Western related. Like there's actually like legit Western shit on the YouTube playlist. Sci-fi, fantasy, just action in general. You get so many weird things, but... Welcome back, Cassidy. How are those dishes treating you? Seem like putting chaps over top, and it's like, yes, I would. I'm trying to think how those usually, they usually latch onto a belt, right? So maybe she's got them, but they're hanging on fairly low. that combines western and horror genres with steampunk. Nice. Honestly, as a genre, that sounds a lot like the comic I was alluding to earlier that I hope to one day make. <laughs> Not necessarily the plot, but the horror western with some steampunk is kind of what it's going to be. are actually kind of a mean thing. But they do look cool. Huh. Poker chip seems appropriate for a western themed game. Is that just a coincidence that you discovered that today, or were you looking up Western stuff inspired by this drawing?
I'm kind of digging that. All right, now I was thinking, I'm gonna give her a pet. Okay, so it is kind of a just coincidence, huh? So this potential next comic I've alluded to, I have actually drawn at least two other possible things from it on the on the stream before. And like I said, I don't intend for this character to be in it. The lead of that story would be female, um, but not this particular female. <laughs> and uh, character would be quite different from this in essence, but I mean, maybe I get inspired by some costume bits, so you never know what might find its way in there. Or maybe I uh, decide, you know what, I, I suddenly get inspired to use this as a secondary character or something, who knows? Who knows? So the pet in question is a coyote. All right, let's think it. Let's do it. This is the pen I was using for uh, Lady Thor, and it's definitely on its last legs, but let's see if we can get one last drawing out of it. And if it ever looks like it's dying, I need you guys to send your happy thoughts. Like, I do believe in microns. I do. I do. I do believe in microns. I do. I do. been through some shit. Sounds good, sounds good. Is it gonna be uh, Genshin, Chastity? Am I correct in that assumption? Or that game you sent me a video of earlier? I'm just now remembering. Wow.
once again in mixed feelings in the hat, but whatever. I officially am down for the hair obstructing eyes. First time I've ever, it's always been a cool look, but it's not something I've done that much, but I remember the first time I think I ever saw that was um, Captain Planet. One of the villains in Captain Planet, I forget what her name was, I, didn't want, I never watched the show a lot. But she had hair that covered one of her eyes, and I remember there being at least one episode where the wind kind of catches it just for like a second, and you see her eye, and it's all like scarred up and stuff. Maybe. I think she wore like a pink jumpsuit if I'm remembering right. Did you watch much Captain Planet, Billy? My thing with Captain Planet was I always liked Captain Planet himself so much more than the kids. And so I kind of liked the show, but I was always kind of pissed off that we didn't see more Captain Planet, you know? a reasonably popular show but I feel like it didn't go that long and then didn't live too long in reruns have you
you seen the, uh, I can't remember if it was Funny or Die or College Humor, but have you seen the Don Cheadle version? Where he basically just goes drunk with power, starts turning everything into trees? about how disturbing that look on his face is when he just starts you know his eyes are almost on the verge of rolling in the back of his head <laughs> as he's just like decimating the place well kind of, I mean I guess not really decimating any but like still <laughs> I don't think I have seen that one. Is it Don Cheadle playing himself wanting to make a Captain Planet movie? Or is it Captain Planet wanting to make a movie but played by Don Cheadle? I guess reading how you wrote that again, Billy, I guess I have my answer. I think, you, I think it, it is Captain Planet himself. Just happens to be played by Chino. Oh, I just realized, okay. 
I, I flaked there. Uh, what made Genshin almost crash? The sheer awesomeness of your uh, your gaming abilities. Was it referencing a blasphemous recreation of Captain Planet? But anyway, yeah, Billy, I looked down, I saw you answering my question, and I thought I was reading your original post, and that I just had misread it, and it was actually an obvious scenario. That's not what happened. You actually answered me. Stranger things have happened. I might have seen more, like I know the, what I'm pretty sure is the original one, the one I was describing earlier. And if I have seen more, it wouldn't really shock me, but I can't say for sure. And it was, it, I'm right that it was Funny or Die, right? Or was it Call of Humor? Ever seen uh, movie 43? Somebody was asking me about that not all that long ago. Because it was f destroyed by people when it came out. And it's definitely not a great movie, but I will defend it somewhat. And. Because um, basically, it was like a sketch movie like it was all just comedy sketches with really big name stars and it so like it's not the first movie of its kind by any stretch and like I said it's not great it's definitely not a great movie but I don't think it's as horrible as it got made out to be because first of all anytime you have a sketch anything whether it's a TV show or a movie it's like some of them are going to be good, and some of them aren't, right? Like, it's going to be hit and miss. It's just the nature of sketch comedy. And the nature of comedy in general, because it's, uh, it's so subjective, right? Um, if it's a movie, you're probably either like the whole thing, because it's all that one type of... It's all that one scenario. Like a normal narrative movie. Or it's... Uh, um...
uh, all the same kind of sense of humor and stuff, not multiple writers, different takes and whatnot. So, like, there was a Kentucky Fried movie in the 80s that was like that, and there was Tunnel Vision, I think, also in the 80s, or maybe even 70s that was like that, and there was Amazon Women on the Moon that was like that. And so the idea of a sketch movie isn't unheard of, but I think the original appeal of it was it's sort of like, what if you had a Saturday Night Live that wasn't hampered by network censorship, and that was kind of the sell for it? But movie 43 was one, I don't even know if it was promoted as a sketch movie, so I think people just thought it was just like epic comedy with this huge A-list cast, and not necessarily expecting it to be a bunch of sketches. But also, it came out when Funny or Die and College Humor were like a huge thing. So you already had uncensored comedy sketches with big name stars readily available on uh, online. So it was kind of like, what is the what is the draw here? But yeah, some of the sketches suck. Some of the sketches are pretty good. It's all over the place, as most sketch shows are. One sketch I remember being pretty funny in it though was it's Naomi Watts and Leif Schreiber, who were married in real life, um, playing a husband and wife that homeschool their kids. And so the whole bit is about how they're so determined to have their kids grow up with the same experience as someone who goes to public school that they kind of put them through all the hellish bullshit that people deal with in high school so like they bully them and at one point the mom like hits on the son just so that she can stand him up and break his heart and like uh and the kids are like old enough to know how wrong it is so they're just stuck in these uncomfortable positions uh mentally not physically to make that clear and it's uh it's very wrong but i did think that was pretty funny But that was one of the better ones. It was like, I feel like there were some really bad ones, a couple pretty good ones, and a lot of like mediocre ones, if I'm remembering right. I've only seen it the one time. I don't know if I'll ever see it again. Well, maybe a background movie, I suppose, if it was on Netflix or something. That would be the most I would get into it. gun on this, I'm sorry, the handle on this revolver, not particularly accurate as far as I'm aware, but I'm kind of okay with it. Finish uh, Miss Marvel, Billy. Uh, I thought the finale, the finale was pretty good. I thought I've decided it's a good show, and the my only qualm with it is I I love that quirky graphic design 
motif they had going in that first episode. Which I think I commented on before, and I just wish that they kept that. But with or without it, I think it's a pretty decent show. That sentence really highlights how little I know about this game, <laughs> uh, Cassidy. So what, like I thought it was more of an action game. What, what do you do in this game? And I'm not knocking it, I just don't understand. It's a mixed bag, because I think that a lot of them have that weird rush feeling at the end. You know what I think part of that is, though? I think part of it is... The idea that, like... You know, it's a TV show. The budget's different than the movies. And so they're, they're maybe making this, like, effort... To, um... They're kind of like, hey, we're going to save most of our effects budget for that finale, you know? And then that creates this weird pacing thing because you kind of expect a certain thing from Marvel and they got to save it all to the end. And then, so when they get there, they want to have their big payoff, but they got cramped so much extra shit in there. Maybe, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's one possibility. So is, there, is it not action based at all? Have I had a completely wrong impression of this game this entire time?
vest. Make it black. Make it pop a bit more. The other thing that I had said but you might have missed when you said that you were distracted is that I also wondered if just knowing that they're going to do the Fantastic Four reasonably soon, they maybe just want to avoid having two stretchy characters come out around the same time. Which even if that wasn't the reason they did it, I think that would be a valid reason to do it. Because even the, uh, with the Inhumans thing, I think it is for sure a good reason to not use the Inhumans part of her backstory. But, um, there has to be other reasons as well, or they would, wouldn't have changed the powers. Because you could still have the same powers and just have a different origin, right? Save for her spot blacks and the vest. She's almost done. Now we just gotta do her her furry buddy here. They're also kind of dicks. Gotta take a bite out of the ear. Gotta do it. Uh, I haven't, no. You, Billy, is it good? You know, I like Coke, but it's rarely my go to. Like, when I was a kid, I actually actively disliked it. And then I've kind of grown into it, but I still tend to go to um, root beer or 7 uh, Up more times than not now. So even though I'd be interested in trying that, I kind of wouldn't even think to look for it when I'm getting something, probably. Is it like citrusy? Or does it just taste like regular Coke, but, but clear? Never?
What about Pepsi? If you drink, drink Pepsi. Um, that, how would you answer that question, Billy? What counts as cola? Like, it's not the color. Because root beer is not cola, but it's the same color. Dr. Pepper's... I don't think you would consider Dr. Pepper cola. I don't even know what the primary flavor in cola would be considered. Caramel water? I mean, I think that actually is kind of an apt description to anybody that's tasted it. I can see why you would say that. I don't know if it's technically accurate. I don't know. But I don't know if they come up with anything better, so... <laughs> Also, are you home now, Mark? <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one. Alright, we are almost done, guys, but not quite. Swoop that in there. Swoop that in there. side and then hang on hang on actually let's go a little bit tighter on this v bit tighter just a v bit all right Cola is a carbonated soft drink flavored with vanilla, cinnamon, citrus, oils, and other flavorings. Scientifically speaking, that definitely answers the question, although I feel like... Unless Cassidy has read the ingredients in every soda she's ever drank, I don't know if... Uh, necessarily helps. ever tasted black water that uh, or 
or drank black water that tasted kind of like caramel. There you go. Okay. I was a huge Crush guy when I was a kid. Uh, Orange Crush was like the only pop I would drink for uh, the first several years of my life. But at some point, and I don't know what age, I just suddenly did not like it anymore. Same thing with apple juice. Love orange juice. But orange crush? No thanks. Maybe I just drank way too much of it? I'm not sure. Grape is one that I didn't like as a kid, but I kind of grew into. Well, I don't know if I've heard of grape raisin. Well, I mean, obviously raisins are grape, but... Raisins are dehydrated grapes. It tastes very different. I don't mind raisins, but it is a very different. There's different degrees of it though, right, too, because there's also like very, very dried out grapes, and then there's ones that are still have a little bit of juiciness to them. Those are the better ones, in my opinion. I really like uh, raisin bread, and that's one of the big defining points to help sell that. My dad makes raisin bread sometimes. Usually around the holidays, I'll I'll go through a few loaves of raisin bread. All right, we're signing it, guys. We're done. Uh, quick one today, but somewhat by by design, um, so that I can make it an early-ish night. The raisin bread I like. Uh, raisin cookies, not so much. One time when I was in school, went to a vending machine to get one of those big soft cookies. I thought it was chocolate chip. Ended up being oatmeal raisin. Ruined my whole day. Uh, so I do, uh, I do, I do, uh, I do feel you. Um, thanks, Billy. Thanks, Mark. Um, I, w I won't, st I won't like do this from the show. Um, and probably not on Twitch. I mean, maybe I'll do a brief live stream over Instagram or something. Uh, I might do that. Um, but I don't know if I'll be drawing or anything. Um, well, I don't know if there's much point in me doing it unless I'm drawing. We'll see. If I get a commission and I can properly set up the camera and I'm feeling it enough, but I'd probably be getting so distracted it wouldn't be much of a stream. So probably not, but I'll post some videos and stuff for sure. Um, so anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, I'm going to do both my regular streams next week. At least one of them is probably going to be on the slightly longer side, actually. Um, but uh, but see you then. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>